Hello everyone, this is Ramzan Ali Super and I extend a warm and hearty welcome to all of you to the Super English Grammar YouTube channel. In this video, today I am going to be talking about the prerequisites or the things that are very important to know before you start learning English tenses. Actually, while teaching you English tenses, I will be talking about mainly four important things. Number one, subject. Number two, object. Number three, verb. And number four, sentence. Because these four things are the pillars or the foundations of English tenses. That is why I'm first of all going to tell you about these four things before I start teaching English tenses. Now let us discuss these important things one by one. Number one, subject. Subject is someone or something that is being talked about in a sentence. Or a subject is someone or something who performs the action in a sentence. So basically the subject is the doer of some action in a sentence. For example, the teacher is beating him. In this example, the teacher is the subject in this sentence because uh, the teacher is performing the action that is the beating, right? Okay, number two, object. Object is something or someone who receives the action that is done by the subject in a sentence. So, uh, the object is basically the recipient of some action in a sentence. For example, again, the teacher is beating him. Here in this example, uh, you know, him is the object because him is receiving the action that is being performed by the subject by teacher, right? Number three, verb. Verb is a word that describes some action. For example, again, the teacher is beating him. Here in this example, the word beating is a verb because this describes some action. Note that while teaching you English tenses, I will be talking about two types of verbs. Number one, helping verb and number two, main verb. Helping verb is a verb that is used before some main verb to help it to express some grammatical aspect. And on the other hand, main verb shows some action, right? For example, again, the teacher is beating him. Here in this example, the teacher is the subject, is is the helping verb beating is the main verb and him is the object right and number four sentence a sentence is a combination of words that contains a subject and the verb for example again the teacher is beating him this combination of words is called a sentence note that while teaching you tenses i will be talking about mainly five types of sentences number one positive sentence Number two, negative sentence. Number three, interrogative sentence. Number four, interrogative negative sentence. And number five, fact-finding sentence. Now let us look at these five types of sentences one by one. Number one, positive sentence. A positive sentence is a type of sentence in which we use no negative words or no question words. For example, the teacher is beating him. This is a positive sentence because in this sentence we are using no negative words and no question words, right? Number two, negative sentence. Negative sentence is a type of sentence in which we use negative words. For example, uh, not, never, it is in. For example, the teacher is not beating him. Here, in this example, we are using the word not. So, this sentence will be a negative sentence, right? Number three, interrogative sentence. An interrogative sentence is a sentence in which we use the helping verbs at the beginning of the sentence. For example, is the teacher beating him? This sentence is a, an interrogative sentence because we are using the helping of is at the beginning of the sentence. Number four, interrogative and negative sentence. Interrogative and negative sentence is a sentence in which we use the helping of at the beginning of the sentence and additionally we use not in the sentence. For example, is the teacher not beating him? Here, this sentence is, you know, an interrogative negative sentence because we are using the helping of at the beginning of the sentence and we additionally are using the uh, negative word not in the sentence, right? Number five, fact-finding sentence. 
a fact finding sentence is a sentence by which we uh, want to know about some fact about some information for example why is the teacher beating him this example is uh, an example of uh, fact finding sentence because this sentence is asking about some information why is the teacher beating him i want to know or we want to know that why the teacher is beating him we want to know the reason by this sentence so guys these four things are the pillars of english tenses make sure that you learn all these four things before you start learning english tenses see you soon in the next video thank you so much